Hola a todos. <laughs> it is an amazing honor to be here today between so many powerful and amazing people. Thank you. Um, I am Diana Flores, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I am, a little bit about my story. Well, let me start saying that during the past year, my life has completely changed. Many amazing things have happened, and everything started a year ago after winning with my team the gold medal at the World Games 2022. <laughs> after that, I became global ambassador for the NFL and IFAF. And short time after that, I had the opportunity to be part of the campaign Wrong With It with the NFL and be the star of the Super Bowl commercial this year. <laughs> this was an amazing moment I will hold in my heart forever. But to me, one of the most amazing parts of it has been to see the impact it has had. Let me tell you something. This was never my dream. And not because I didn't want it to, but as a little girl, an eight-year-old girl, born and raised in Mexico City, who fell in love with a very American sport, I never even imagined that all of what has happened, the Super Bowl commercial, the Pro Bowl, Emmys, Pro Football Hall of Fame, 30 under 30 of Forbes list, I never imagined that could be even a possibility for a girl like me. Since I was little, I had to fight against the power of no in its many different forms. No, you cannot play this sport. This is not a sport for you. No, you are too young. No, you're not, ha you're not gonna have opportunities to succeed in this. No, you don't belong here. No, no, no. And it was like that during all my life. Even at my happy place, which was a sport, which was flag football, sometimes the world even made me feel as an intruder. Like I didn't belong there, that I was living a life that didn't belong to me. It wasn't until after the Super Bowl commercial happened when I realized that I was not the only one feeling that way. That I had the opportunity to have a platform to represent and also a voice to speak for the ones that, like me, were not being seen and heard. I realized that I was not the only one feeling that we were living a life that d didn't belong to us. And that, to me, has been one of the most amazing opportunities of life, to be able to, be able to connect with that people, to be able to remind the world how the power of sport can not only empower women, but can al also break many kinds of barriers, gender barriers and cultural barriers. Um, this moment in time for me made me realize the importance of representation. Representation changed my life. And I know it has the power to change many, many other lives too. Because if you can see it, you can be it. And sometimes, as little girls, as little boys, we only need that light in front of us. That light that reminds us that we can dream big, that we deserve those dreams. That we can be part of the big stories out there. I never had 
that role model to follow. I never had someone to follow that looked like me. I never, never believed that I deserved. So right now, I think that it's time to rewrite the rules. It is time to break stereotypes for us and for the future generations of little boys and girls that deserve the opportunity to dream bigger than ever, that deserve to feel seen, that deserve to feel that the world cares of them, that deserve to have a voice and feel empowered to use that voice to change their lives and many others. Because greatness start in the mind. We need to change the mindset of all our generations of Latinos and Latinas leaders. We need to tell them that they deserve to dream big, that they deserve to drive for greatness. Greatness starts in the mind. Greatness grows in unity. And greatness lives in our culture. And by the time that we understand that, I know that we together are going to create a brighter and bigger future for our next generations that are going to feel seen, heard, and empowered to fight for greatness. Thank you.